Hello everybody, Ryan Martin, physical therapist and MSK ultrasonographer. Today I'm going to be talking about adhesive capsulitis. Now as a physical therapist and sonographer, I see it in two different realms. And what I do is I like to use both of those to kind of blend them and have them come up with a better diagnostic criteria. So what is adhesive capsulitis? It's an inflammatory process of the capsule that surrounds the joint, and it, it occurs in about 2 to 3% of the population, mostly affecting females around 40 to 70 years old. There's two main types of adhesive capsulitis, primary and secondary. Primary being more of that insidious or that idiopathic onset to where we have no specific mechanism, whereas secondary, we, we understand there's a probable mechanism, whether it's a rotator cuff tear, a bursal inflammation, or whether it's even impingement or other mechanical uh, deficits going on to the shoulder, we have something to isolate to help treatment plans. And within the two types of frozen shoulder or adhesive capsulitis, they do follow similar patterns, whereas there's a freezing zone, there's a frozen, and then there's a thawing. And so what that means is as the shoulder is getting stiffer and stiffer, we call that the freezing zone. And when it's stuck to probably the, the most limited ranges of motion, that's gonna be frozen. And as it's starting to loosen up over time, that's called thawing. Now these are very simplistic ways to explain what's going on in there. In physical therapy, we take a full history and we take range of motions. The capsule itself is typically limited in three major planes of motion. It's gonna be external rotation. So external rotation, let me show you from here. External rotation is this direction here. It's gonna be abduction, which is bringing the shoulder in this direction. And then lastly, it's gonna be internal rotation, which is bringing that shoulder inward. So when looking at adhesive capsulitis on ultrasound, there's a couple criteria. Some of the research has, has indicated more of using the coracohumeral ligament as a prime indicator for diagnostics on ultrasound. And if we look over here, we have sonography in diagnosis of adhesive capsulitis of the shoulder, a case control study. And this has used um, everything from the rotator cuff interval, which is the space between the subscapularis, the bicep tendon, and the supraspinatus. And when we put those three together and look right on that superior margin, the research has shown that that rotator cuff interval, as it fills with uh, heterogeneous or irregular tissue, there's some markers that can be utilized to help diagnose adhesive capsulitis. The other main criteria here is using the coracal humor ligament, which is the small ligament that goes from the coracoid process, um, which lies just superior to the subscapularis, and it runs over to the humerus. So the sensitivity and specificity on this is 93.1 and 94.4, respectively. And, the, and, and by face value, that's great. Unfortunately, you know, the limitations of the study are how many participants were in the study. Um, and another main limitation is uh, ultrasound is very user dependent. In this study here, we had two MSK radiologists that had 10 plus years each, um, not specific to necessarily, um, not specific to the corcal humor ligament, but within their field of specialty. So this is good. What that's saying is that there could be some good criteria for diagnosing adhesive capsulitis utilizing uh, diagnostic ultrasound. But remembering, you know, imaging is just one tool in, in the process. And I think it's really important that we utilize the rest of our information to put them together and come up with a good diagnosis. Because a great diagnosis means that we can come up with a good plan of care. And ultimately the best thing here is patient care and getting them better. So I hope that was informative. I'm going to be doing some scans of the corcal humor ligament and the rotator cuff interval just to give you an idea of what they'll look like on an ultrasound. I'll see you in the clinic. Thank you very much.